And then you can add what I use half barrels cut this way and I start adding benches for, yeah. he, for heated seating. So then you, you know, you, what heat you use for cooking goes into these heated benches and heats the humans that way. Like when you're envisioning these systems, what I like to do is just flip it all upside down and picture it filling with water. <laughs> and what you'll get is you'll get the hot water you know, oh, a pump, like, wow. yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. do it. So when, I, when people look at my half barrel benches, sometimes I'll have the exhaust here yeah. and a half barrel bench coming out here dead end. Yeah. Like there's no run through yeah. it. There's no like no serpentine throughput. snake or anything. Yeah. But just as if you flipped it upside down, you pour water into it and it fills up like a pond. Yeah. And it has to yeah. fill up like that. And here's the exhaust outlet That's of the hilarious. pond and it has to spill out. So you just flip that wow. over and yeah. the heat fills up from the top and it's hot and then now yeah. your bench is hot and even if your exhaust is over there and your bench is over there that pool fills up with heat yeah. before it can spill out yeah. that way yeah. so when you think of it like that you can start designing some crazy Hell systems yeah. and people are like what you know where's the flu oh, and the yeah. send and the return and you're like no man yeah. it's a pool of upside down yeah, hot stuff like liquid. yeah so i wish to make an attempt really to clarify what I matt is trying to say of I will do this with the English language and crappy images. We begin with my imaginary bucket of science and imaginary pipe of science. I run water through the pipe and it fills the bucket. The water is heavier than the surrounding air. I flip all this upside down and do the same thing with heated air. Hot air is lighter than room temperature air. This is the same thing that they do to make hot air balloons rise. Fortunately, my imaginary bucket of science is heavier than a hot air balloon. In this case, my imaginary bucket of science is capable of conducting heat. So, the hot air rises and pools at the top of the bucket. The heat moves its way through the bucket and begins to heat the surrounding air in the room. So, the hot air in the bucket starts to cool, and new hot air is being added. The hotter air is lighter than the not-so-hot-anymore air. In time, the heat stratifies with the hottest air at the top and the least hot air at the bottom. Eventually, the least hot air begins to spill out of my bucket. So let's apply this bit of science to a rocket mass heater. Before showing the new idea, let's first revisit the way it is done now. We build a rocket mass heater and set the manifold low. This is my imaginary cob bench of science, complete with imaginary ducting of science, configured in a way that is possible, but improbable. Normally, the duct that returns is only slightly higher than the duct that goes to the end of the bench. But my crappy drawing skills do not include 3D, so this is close enough. The hot gases come out of the rocket mass heater, and the heat is extracted into the cob bench, thus making the gases cooler. The hottest parts ride along the top part of the duct. This design forces the heat to travel to the end of the cob bench. When the exhaust is back by the barrel, the radiant heat from the barrel warms the exhaust and another thermosiphon is created. This helps to carry the exhaust outside and pull the exhaust through the bench. Now let's introduce the style that Matt is talking about. On a larger scale, this would be called a Kang bed stove or a Roman hypocaust, except we are relying on stratification instead of forcing the heat through. Therefore, this time I am choosing to refer to this as a stratification chamber. The first change is to raise the manifold exhaust and use a hollowed out bench with a way to capture the overflow gases and pull them out. As the hot gases come from the rocket mass heater and fill the bench, the vertical exhaust will start to warm 
and pull the cooler gases from the bottom. Stratification will ensure that the bench is evenly warmed. Less ducting means less expense and more options in bench shape. Now, let's go back and hear what Matt said again. Is that when you're envisioning these systems, what I like to do is just flip it all upside down and picture it filling with water. <coughs> and what you'll get is you'll get the hot water you know, oh, a pump, like, wow. yeah, so yeah, you yeah, can do it. Yeah. So when I, when people look at my half barrel benches, sometimes I'll have the exhaust here yeah. and a half barrel bench coming out here dead end. Yeah. Like there's no run through yeah. it. There's no like no serpentine throughput. snake or anything, yeah. but just as if you flipped it upside down, you pour water into it and it fills up like a pond Yeah. and it has to yeah, fill up like that. Yeah. And here's the exhaust outlet That's of the pond hilarious. and it has to spill out. So you just flip that wow, over and yeah. the heat fills up from the top and it's hot and then now yeah. your bench is hot and even if your exhaust is over there and your bench is over there that pool fills up with heat yeah. before it can spill out yeah. that way yeah. so when you think of it like that you can start designing some crazy Hell systems yeah. and people are like what you know where's the flu oh, and the yeah. send and the return and you're like no man yeah. it's a pool of upside down yeah, hot stuff like liquid. yeah so it's that's, oh, that's really to me like my mind. I just I I love I mean, that, that freed yourself up design wise of hell of shit. Right. All of a sudden you're just like anything goes. Anything goes. And people are like I gotta put the stove here because my exhaust is here, but I want the seat over there. And it's like no problem, man. Yeah. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.